<laughs> All right, so we'll save over day five now. Day six break. This is weird. It is safe to keep playing. Rise and shine. Uh, good morning. It's weird to hear her say, to read her saying that instead of good evening. It's 11 a.m. though. It's morning for me on the weekends and any other day. How's everything outside? I guess I should have stopped maybe, but I keep I, I'll keep going till it gives me the chance to save it again. Still noisy, but forces have been deployed to take care of most of them at least. How so? Zaibatsu Corp's president is pleading with anyone to stop the rogue white knights. Neighboring city forces were deployed quickly and have subdued most of the opposition. There have also been reports of white knights just freezing like they're petrified somehow. I'm out of both of my drink. I've drank both cans of my Dr. Pepper now. Sad face. You make it sound like some god suddenly decided to put everything in place. Well, I'm just glad no bullets are flying in and out of the whole building. Sure, there's still some bad apples out, and it's not really safe yet, but it was worse last night. There also seems to be a civilian force lynching any white knight they spot. Oh no, I hope Sai gets out of dodge. Oh, that back hurts. So not only are the White Knights a problem, regular folks are on edge too. I wonder if Sai is okay. Should we be worried about Gil? That kid knows how to take care of himself. I'm sure that whatever it is that he's doing, he's safe. Dare I say, even safer when he is than here. Er, than he is... Ah. Wherever he is than here. Alright. I sure hope so. Are we gonna work today? Nah, things are too nasty right now. Let's take the Sunday off. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Oh, all right. Say, do you want me to help you get to your apartment? Actually, yeah, I'd appreciate that. Okay then, let me lock things up and we'll go. We'll grab something for lunch on the way. Sounds good. Oh, this is cool. It's also neat to see her face in like a picture. And here we are. Whoa, I like the little news ticker up at the top there, it's just the title. Home sweet home, thanks a lot. Hey boss, wanna hang out for a little bit? Hmm? Yeah, grab a beer, chill out for a bit, mostly to thank you for helping me. Well, I don't have much to do anyway. So yeah, sure. I did tell you that you should invite me over to your apartment sometime, didn't I? Oh yeah, you did. What worries me a bit is that beer always leads to something else. To more beer? I was gonna say to one of us going through the Spanish and I'll just table. <laughs> Alright. But I think we're safe here. Come on in then. Excuse me. Want one? Sorry, I don't smoke. Don't mind me though. Smoke if you wanna. Thanks. Say, how is the chilly weather treating you? <clears throat> it gets cold from time to time, but nothing just took Kotatsu and Heater can't fix. Alright, boss. You're not very good with the cold, are you? I imagine the metal arm might make that a bit difficult. You know it. You didn't bring your jacket here, either. Yeah, I left it at home when going to the bar yesterday. It wasn't that cold, and I didn't expect to spend the night at the bar. Would you like a sweater or something? <clears throat> Oh, don't mind me. I insist, have this hoodie from some time ago. It's too big for me. Why buy it then? It was dirt cheap. <laughs> right. Wait, where did you get this one? Don't know, some flea market ages ago. Why? Nothing, it's just like one I had many years ago. What happened to it? Too much use, it just ripped. Uh, I see. Yeah. I know how that is. <clears throat> You can keep it if you want. I never use it anyway. Um, we'll see. Come to think of it, how old are you, boss? I'm eternally 17. Oh, no, don't bring the number 17 back. 
Fair enough. 17 plus how much? 17 plus I'd have to cut your tongue if you knew. Oh no. Alright. Let me go change into something more comfortable. Take your time. <laughs> Four. Say, Jill, there's a blue-eyed mass of black fur glaring in my general direction. Hmm. No, oh, that's just four. He is a... He's just wary of any new visitors. Cats will be cats, I guess. He'll warm up to you quickly, though. Just give him time. He's unusual-looking. Blue eyes on a black cat. They usually have green. I'm used to seeing, like, the yellow is the archetypal black cat eyeball. Huh. Weird. At first I thought they were like that because if he was small, but they never changed. Do you have any pets, boss? Back at home we had a bear. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I s What? Good old Bosco? <laughs> like, like from Avatar? He keeps intruders away better than any dog. Right. Hmm, this picture here isn't something you see every day. What? I can't really tell what that is. Because none of them look like Jill. What, me taking such a sappy picture? I guess that is Jill then, isn't it? No, a framed picture on printed paper, it's so vintage. Who are these? That's, um... The one on the right is Lenore, my ex-girlfriend, and the one on the left is Gabriel, her sister. Huh, is this picture recent? Or, actually, that one's from three or four years ago. That would explain why I don't really see the resemblance between the two of them. Or, you look exactly the same? I... Maybe I am off my rocker. <clears throat> I'm only 2017. What did you expect? That's what they say. Or that's what they say kids are the ones that go. Whoa. <laughs> I butchered that. That's why they say kids are the ones that get old. I thought it was recent because you don't usually see people displaying pictures of their exes so openly. Let alone printed a printed and framed one. Did you two break up on good terms then? You even hesitated a bit when calling her your ex. <clears throat> Let's just say that everything ended with both of us saying mean things. Oh. That sucks. And me storming out of her house, breaking a couple of things on the way out. Oh. We never broke up formally, and I guess I still have feelings for her. Hmm. I just went away. I haven't said a word since. Oh, that's a bummer. Really? It's hard to picture you doing such a thing. You look so happy in that picture. She looks confused more than anything. I have her picture out like this then. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Excuse me. I just couldn't get my mind off of something that Alma said to me. Without missing having the warmth of someone else pressed against your side. Using them as a pillow, mixing your perfume with theirs. Putting your head on their chest and listening to their breathing as they pet your head. Dozing off knowing they're there, watching you, protecting you. I don't know, I felt nostalgic. Then miserable. <laughs> uh. I'll just put this away. I've been meaning to apologize, but I feel like it's too late now. Whenever I go out, there's this fear in the back of my mind that I'll meet her in the street. I just don't know if I could face her again, let alone talk to her. I'd be a mess. It's never too late to apologize, Jill. Maybe. Hmm, what's that on the table? Looks like an envelope. It's nothing, nothing. Now please give that to me. Lope, alright. I saw nothing, don't worry. Anyway, let's, let's grab some beers. Guide me. Oh, this is cool. Shine Spark! Out. 1511? I don't know what that means. Oh. That must be the date that she's coming. Back. That's one of the posters. Beers go so far. 
beer so far. Cans left. Remaining beer, 100%. Man, you have lots of beer. Well, the BTC gives me discounts and a point card I use every time I buy their alcohol. Alright. With that beer... With that, beer is actually the cheapy, cheapest drink I can get. Is there any difference between the drinks at the bar and these? The drinks at the bar are more addictive, flavorful, and also stronger than the ones they sell in stores. I don't really know at what, at what interval to hit the drink button. And besides, the one in the bar is more of a double IPA. This is more of a pilsner. In English, please. Shouldn't you know about this stuff? You own the bar. This one is lighter in color and in flavor. Dunno, it doesn't taste like lighter to me. A lighter to me? Pfft. Is this the one that's made with that, um, what's the name of the base liquid you use at the bar again? Carmotrin? I guess that's not what it was. It was a supplement for s or something, right? It was an experimental fluid they created to replace water when the maiden kiss polluted the water supplies. The effects of pollution turned out to be temporary, so NDL never went into mass production. But the BTC still commissioned. I if I click settings over here. Alright, now, that's. I wanted to, like, save it. Like, this would be a great point to save it and then just do this segment and drink, like, obscenely at the beginning and see how it played out. And this one is made with it. Let's see. Yep, here it is, near the end. N NDL and cornstarch. Cornstarch? It serves as a stabilizer, if I remember correctly. They need it for packaged drinks. I see, and I just realized something. What? You're a nerd, Jill. <laughs> Guilty as charged. I still have that bottle of rum somewhere around. Do you want some of it? Will you have some too? Not really, no. Then leave it like that. I'm not letting you drink beer alone. That's not how drinking with friends works. Do you consider me a friend then, boss? Why wouldn't I? Dunno, with it being my boss and all, I was never too sure. Well, in case you had any doubt, yes, I consider you one of my best friends. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I just hit my table. My bad if that came across. Besides, you and Gil are always so diligent and responsible that I'm a boss in name only anyway. That's good to know. On a side note, it surprises me that you kept the poster of me in your room. And even more than that, you hung it in plain sight. <laughs> when I gave it to you, it was more or less a joke, you know? Yeah, but you are a really cool person. Does it make you uncomfortable? If it doesn't make you uncomfortable, then why would it make me uncomfortable? It's my own face. <laughs> I'm still wondering why you did it, though. Aside from filling an empty spot on the wall, I don't really know. I thought it was funny, too. I guess if it's like someone gave you... Dunno. Oh. You'd have it there for a conversation starter. <clears throat> Although no one comes here anyway, so it's kinda pointless. What? No steamy nights of fashion? Not since a year ago or th I think. And I'd rather not talk about what happened then. Did someone hurt you? Because if they did, I can go dish out the pain. Say the word, and lives will be ruined. Nothing of the sort, a different kind of mess. Uncomfortable mess, and... Uh oh. Not being able to have sex for reasons mess. Glad to know you have my back, though. That's what friends are for. <laughs> Harsh. That's what friends are for. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey Jill, where did you get that black four ball? Well, as any black cat or house cat in general, he's actually a stray. 
I found him in the alleys near the building, not long after I moved here, I think. I see. It was quite the sight, though. He was cornered by all these dogs, and they were keeping their distance. Or, but they were keeping their distance. He was holding his ground, hissing and scratching as much as he could. There was a fried chicken bucket nearby that had some rainwater in it, so I ran over. So I threw the water over the dogs. They ran, and I figured the cat's mom would nearby be nearby, so I left. Then I noticed people looking in my direction as I walked. Turns out the little scamp started following me. So you brought it home. At first, I wanted to see if I could find him a new home, but having him welcome me whenever I came back was just too much for my heart, so he ended up staying. That's a lovely story. It was Destiny, girl. When he came, he was so cute, though. Not like the fat mass that is sleeping on the table. Hey, you're, no, you're not a spring chicken yourself, you know. Harsh. <laughs> oh -ho. Oh, she just talked for him. You see, I, for some reason... It's not that out of the ordinary, considering earlier we were talking to a brain in a jar. But I was under the impression that her cat could actually talk. <laughs> anyway. Don't anyway me. Do you normally speak for your cat like that? Maybe. I wonder if Gil's alright. You worry about him? Are you worried about him? You make it sound like I'm some emotionless robot. You unfeeling piece of stone. You can be hard to read. I wouldn't worry about Gil so much, though. There's things I know for certain about him. First, he can take care of himself. Second, you can sincerely trust him. And third, he absolutely hates bell pepper. He does? I've seen him reject food, even reject food that's been in contact with it. Man, what a baby. Well, unless he's allergic or something. He's not. Man, what a baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. How did you meet that guy, anyway? He showed up in the door of the bar. He what? Well, it was shortly after the whole incident with Robert and the levitation potion. Right, levitation potion. <laughs> it was a slow day, and he showed up at the bar. I offered him a drink, but he said he didn't have money on him. I couldn't leave him alone, so I pretty much gave him the drinks for free. Then after a couple, he broke down crying. Oh. He... huh? I don't know what he did, but he was really, really regretting it. He wanted a second chance or whatever, and I told him if he could wash himself, I'd find him a job. <laughs> and he looked totally different the next day. Wow. I tried and failed to find out anything about him. So I decided to take him at face value. I judge him for what he did as an employee. Makes sense. And aside from the occasional sudden escapade, he's as loyal as loyal gets. I'd return the favor in kind, covering him from time to time, sometimes literally. <laughs> what surprises me is that you took him in so easily. I can take care of myself and I always keep it, kept an eye on him. And besides, after the whole Robert thing, I couldn't ignore someone that desperate so easily. I see. You've made the bar more lively yourself, you know. How so? Well, with the regulars you've earned, of course. Like... <laughs> like the blonde hacker, I can't remember her name. Alma? I was gonna say Artemidge? Armitage? Well, she's hot, I'll give her that much. She's also a nice person in general, but she is hot. Are you alright, Jill? Yeah, why? It's weird to see you say so openly that someone's hot. What, even you can see? <laughs> oh god, this is weird. You'll find no objections here. Uh, really? Jill, are you sure you aren't drunk? Oh, here we go. I imagine that she wouldn't be talking this, like, openly if we hadn't drank five cans of this already. I am. I mean, I am sure I am. I mean... Ahem. But those are thoughts I leave to myself. I don't think I could handle her in a relationship. 
she has weird standards. That and she's as straight as straight gets. She's still a lovely person, though, that she became a regular is a blessing. I don't know. Hasn't she flirted? Like, she has said some rather flirty things to her before, though. Any regular is a blessing when you get down to it. There's also the sex worker robot girl. Ah, Dorothy. She intrigues me, though. I've seen a lot of... <laughs> Excuse me. I've seen a lot of Lady of the Night workers over the years, and she seems pretty giddy. It's not that she likes her job, but she takes it with such childish excitement. I've kind of noticed that too, but then again, Willem can be weird. You think? Willem operate in some really, really foreign logic. I mean, they don't really share our fear of mortality. Well, yeah. That makes sense if they have, like, cloud storage. Even if their bodies get destroyed, their minds are already backed up in the collective source. If they lose an arm, they can reattach it or replace it. Depending on the circumstances, they might not even feel pain at all. It's not like they haven't attained human-like emotions, like fear or love, but they are different. Like a different culture, if you must. Hmm. I didn't see it that way. Aside from that, Dorothy is a... Uh, yeah, not, I'm not gonna bother with the number. It's a social interactions model or something. Social interactions. Yep. 